So we're going to start out at the Carwings site. A lot of people may not know what Carwings is, so I'll, I'll explain a little bit. Uh, it's, it's a way of connecting your car uh, to a web portal or even an iPhone app, you know, as you can see here. And what it gives us is charge level. Um, we can start charging if you have a charge timer set up. Turn on the climate control. Set a timer so at 8 in the morning you want it, you know, heat it up or cool down or whatever. Um, Carwings is a site, though, which you go into to, to kind of look at how your driving history is, how much power you're using, and you can compete against others. Again, you know, this is all pushed through the cell network, so it's uh, pretty much in real time. Now, we also get the ability to configure RSS features, which is kind of interesting, and the automated computer voice will read them to you. It's, it's okay, I guess. I mean, I, I can get all my news. Uh, as you can see, I've got all kinds of different news sites here. Uh, you know, even an FML blog, which is kind of entertaining, listening to the computer read. Uh, but we'll add a, a new feed here, and, and there's nothing magic about this feed. It's just, uh, it's going to take a look at some of the data that Carwings passes that it probably shouldn't. Um, and this may be difficult to see, but uh, we'll just go ahead and, and type in the uh, RSS URL, which is provided in the uh, video description. Um, as well as the blog entry here. So just uh, nwrs.net slash uh, carwings.php. Okay. And this will add it to the feed list on my car. So we'll click use predefined title. We have to. Um, looks like I, I typed something wrong here. Cars wings, which is not right. So we'll just do car wings predefined title. Um, once it validates the URL, yeah, English, I guess, is cool. Um, go ahead and hit Add. And this will push it out to the vehicle, all through the magical cell phone network. Um, anyway, there's our feed. take a look and these are my RSS feeds that I have however I noticed something funny um, I uh, set up a uh, test RSS feed um, I, I kind of have like a radiation monitor you know just for fun and I was like oh I wonder if I can get the car to read me you know the current counts per minute um, which is very low and but you know it was kind of fun but I noticed that uh, some other stuff was uh, stuffed in the uh, get uh, request um, some really interesting stuff that uh, I found kind of a bit concerning. So you, when you're in your Nissan Leaf, uh, you know, listening to the news, uh, you know, CNN or Fox News or whatever you want to listen to, uh, it's sending a lot of data uh, to that uh, far end host. And uh, I'll give you an example here. We'll go out for a drive here so it's more interesting. And you'll see what kind of information is actually stuffed in uh, the get request uh, every time you listen to the news. So we'll take it for a spin here. Oopsie. Okay. And we call this uh, Car Spy. And all it is is just getting an RSS feed, nothing fancy, no applications running on the display here. Car Spy. You are on SW Point RD at house number 5158 in Federal Way. Oh, yeah. You are traveling at 39 miles per hour. Your heading is 45, which is northeast. Your last destination programmed was 47.319558333333 latitude. 122.4004805555556 longitude. So that was my Your climate control last navigation to... point, which is kind of fun. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's the, the good fun here. So we'll just take a look at the server here and look at the Apache logs. And you can see some data came in uh, from Nissan Car Wings. And... Uh, We'll ignore the, the get map because that was something that uh, the carwings.php passes on. You'll see that uh, this get here with carwings with the lat and long, destination, you know, speeds, all that kind of stuff. That's something that's passed from the Car Carwings Nissan website or perhaps even directly from the vehicle itself. And if it's actually the vehicle requesting it itself, it would make sense. Um, 
the state it probably is for car wings internal use you know to tell you how good you're driving you know provide information and so forth as you can see I didn't you know put anything goofy here this is actual real data that they're passing along um, adding on to the end of this RSS feed so um, it's a lot of a lot of personal data there um, I'm not sure if you really want Fox News to know exactly where you're at how fast you're driving that kind of stuff but you know when you Read those RSS feeds on your car, you might want to think twice before hitting the button.